be showing you how to design a car slot like this as you can see the design this is a car slot where you can pack your car to shade it from the sun from high intensive sun and then or weather conditions so as you can see now i've been able to design this with archicad i start and design this with archicad likewise you can actually do the same archicad does not have this particular kind of design but but with the tools that archicad provide you can be able to design this so you can see that it's added beauty to this my building added beauty so whenever i render i'm doing the image rendering or video rendering by doing this particular design to add aesthetic to add beauty to add realism to the design so so i'm going to show you how i did this from start to finish i'm going to show you how this from start to finish in few minutes in a very few minutes so i'm going to delete this one i'm going to delete what i just did now and start afresh so let's go You have removed it, and then uh, right now I want to design what I just showed you from start to finish. I want to design it from start to finish. So I'll go back to my ground floor plan. So the first thing I'll actually do is to insert those um, columns, those two columns, those two circular columns. I'll go to columns double click make sure that it's on circular and then the diameter of the column should be around um, 75 mm then the height can then be 6000 millimeter or 6 meter then i'll click ok then i think it's going down to minus 600 so i'll click ok then if i click ok i'll change the materials to be stainless steel metal stainless steel okay now put one right here then ctrl shift d which is to duplicate the copy and put the next one right here so after i'm done with that i will then put some members the members of the tapone what is actually carrying the cover then to do that i'll open the south elevation i'm going to open this elevation I'll open the south elevation. Okay, once I'm done opening this, then I will come over to this is the what I just placed right now. So I will now use a line. I'm going to use a line line material. You no, know, the first one is coming like this. Why the other one? The first one is coming like this. Why the other one is coming like this? You know, okay, so I will now maybe at this height. At this height here, I can get this one right here. I'm sure that it's covering the car well. So I've gotten this one. I can also get the next one with that same line. So this is it. So this is actually the member. Yeah, the member that is actually covering, coding the cover. No, this is the column. Why this is kind of a beam yeah it's so actually call it beam but they actually trusses so so right now no this is made of line so i'm going to make a convert this line to truss i'm going to highlight them like i've done come to design design extras trust makers create trust maker so i come to design design extras trust maker then to create trust maker so what i'm done with this i will just click on hollow section Change the profile to circular um, hollow section, then change the diameter to maybe 50 mm. The resolution will be around 90 mm. The thickness might be okay. Then I think that is the only thing I do when I click OK. Okay, so once it's done, I will not click save. Then what is save it will tell you that this new truss maker object has been created on your floor plan. 
so then i'll go to my floor plan which is my grand floor plan now you see your new thrust maker object at your elevation line that elevation which you opened before you trace the thrust maker because the thrust maker is actually going to be traced on an on an elevation you can't actually trace it on three you can't create a thrust maker with 3d or or other perspective you can only trace it with an elevation with you can only trace it or or create a thrust whenever you open an, an elevation so and that elevation which you opened that is where the thrust will be located so i'll just analyze the elevation line so this is the thrust which i've created if i open this line this elevation line this that is where it's created on so i'll then move it control d i'll then move it straight to the beam or rather to the column and move the next one also to the other column so can I see what you have done? Show all in 3D. So you can see that it's a little bit higher. It's a little bit higher. So come come back to ground floor plan. We can actually delete this one. Then we can open that elevation again. Or can I just click? I think we just open the elevation south elevation. Then we can now bring it down. Control D. So we'll bring it down. So this height of are uh, both okay so after bringing it down you can now duplicate it to the next one by opening ground floor you can now highlight it then duplicate ctrl shift d to the next one so you can see what we've done show on 3d so right now we have created the truss on this particular side so now let's create the truss on the other side which is done with them um, We'll come back to floor plan also you can open this elevation of this one i'm going to open this elevation when to, once you open the west elevation then we, then we're going to see use line to create the truss so i'm going to use line okay so right now i can actually locate where that point is but i'm going to get it later on so I'll click on line I'm just assume it is actually here. Then I'll create a line like this. After creating the line, that is actually why I can change the color. It is not why it is on another line. After creating this, then I can. After creating the line, the next thing to do is then to go to design tools again. Design extra trust makers, create trust. Come back to trust profile everything is set diameter is okay okay so okay so i'm done with i'm done then click on save you notice that this particular one will be created on that elevation line which we which we open so you can see it's now created on this elevation that we should open so control shift d so i've created this a control z So to be able to align this thing well, I can just come from this angle and align this. Okay. So Ctrl Shift D. So I can move this to the column right here. Right after creating it, Ctrl. Okay, control D, not control shift D. Control D. You can move this to the column right here. Yeah, so after successfully moving, you can now check the position if it's at the right position we want. So let's check in show all in 3D. Okay, so it's actually in a high high position. So you can just click on it, then bring it down, control D. And bring it down over over here. You can actually confirm by rotating orbits. Yeah, I think it's at the right position now. We can come back to the ground floor plan again and duplicate this. Control Shift D. 
so we can do this so right now we have actually successfully completed the members these are the significant members that you are going to create these are the significant members that you are going to create yeah that is the member that you are going to create the rest are just them um, the rest will not be seen the rest members will not be seen so these are the significant members you are going to create so once so since so since i'm done creating the members then i will move over back to my ground floor plan i'm going to make use of line again but now i'm going to be on my ground floor plan not in elevation i will trace here like this draw a diagonal line or draw the two diagonal lines um if i like i can actually join these lines to the other line and join this line to the next line here also do the same for the next one and join this line to the next line here so if you consider that the, the the covering has four sizes one here is flowing here the water or the raindrops are going like this here is going like this, raindrops are going like this, why here is going like this. So that's why I actually draw diagonal lines because I'm going to make it of mesh. This mesh too is what I'm going to use for my cover. Once I double click on mesh, I will then change the material. This is not the cover material. I can change this to, you know, the former one was like a pink. I can change this to maybe a blue one because blue is more popular. Though anyone is popular, both pink or blue. So I change it to blue, then all materials will then be blue. Then I can now edit the height, the offset where you're going to position to maybe around five, six. Okay. I'm done with that. I can now come and place it right here. I'll pick this edge. I want to place it one by one. That is why I actually did this. So this is the essence of me doing this diagonal. After doing this, I can now maybe confirm what I've done first is well placed or not. You can see it on the floor. Let me check my settings. I'll move over to I'll come back to the ground floor plan again. I will highlight this and check my settings properly. So first of all, my mesh height is actually 5006, which is wrong. So the mesh height should be around 50 or 100 or 50 or less let me use 50 mm at my mesh height they're going to go to my story at 5 6 then these are, these are my two settings so this is settings i just did so i'll click ok after doing that i will then go back to show all in 3d again you can see it's a little bit higher i want to bring it back control d to bring it down to where it's meant to be so i think it's around where it's meant to be yeah so i'll come back to my ground floor plan again and i use up and i use my pick to alternate to to pick the mesh i have done then to duplicate it on other areas i'll click on mesh with my pick to i've picked that one then I'll now continue to replace the settings, which is the height of fixed and the positioning. So successfully, I'm going to do it on the fourth day. So the last one. Yeah, so I'm going to or in 3d again or 3d all so this is what i've been able to do yes so this is what i've been able to do for the tapolin but you know it's not going to be flat it's not going to be flat it's going to have pitch like the, like the one we saw before we started this so how are we going to do that it's just very simple i'm going to do that here in our 3d so what i'm going to do is just to escape Make sure that it's not on orbit. Then I highlight the first one from this black dot here. I click on it and I change it to elevate mesh point. Once I click that, I can now make it to be around 1002 height. That is done. 
I come back to the next one. I like also elevate this mesh point of move back to where that one is. I come back to the next one, bring it also to where the next one is. I come back to the next one, bring it also to where the next one is. I show all in 3D. So this is it. Wow. It has been done successfully. So this is the mesh point that has been elevated successfully. So this is just the cover. Wow. Wow. So you can see, you can play around these things. And we're also going to be sending you different designs, different designs of this car, car, garage, or car slot, whatever you call it. Yeah, we're we'll sending, we'll sending more and more designs. We're going to be doing more and more designs, creating more content on this also. And the like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel if this has helped you. See you.